Fine. Good afternoon to you all students. Hi students. How are you? I hope you all are fine. And you all are doing well. So warm greetings to you all. Welcome to our today's online class students. So now we are studying about chapter 12. So what's the title of our chapter? Structure query language. Isn't it? So only one more topic is left in this chapter. So anyway today I will complete that topic also. So by today, so I am going to complete this chapter 12 also. Okay. <clears throat> so and also today we are going to mark question answers for this chapter. Okay. <clears throat> so your exam portion is, half an exam portion is from chapter 1 to 12. Understand? So exam portion is from chapter 1 to 12. Okay. So Monday onwards you are going to write your half an exam students. So please. Study and write. Okay. So please study and write. So don't copy from your textbooks. So and also you should try all the questions. Don't leave even single question. You should write all the questions. Okay. So and also your presentation needs to be good. So while you are drawing pictures means. Pictures or block diagrams or flow charts or anything. So please use scale and pencil to draw. Don't use pen to draw and also don't use with free hands don't draw understand okay so first all of you take your textbooks in your hand please all of you take your textbooks computer textbooks in your hand so today we are going to mark question answers so first all of you take computer textbooks in your hand okay okay have you all taken yes so all of you take page number 226 okay so today we are going to study about TCL commands. Okay. So last class we have studied about some DML commands. What are the commands we have studied? DDL, DML, DQL and today we are going to study about TCL. Isn't it? So DDL what are the commands you have studied? Insert, create table. Create table command is studied under DDL. Then DML. Insert, update, delete, isn't it? Then T <coughs> DQL, select. Then inside the select, what are the things you have studied? All keyword, distinct keyword, isn't it? Lot of the things you have studied. So today we are going to study about last topic, TCL command. Okay. So which topic you are going to study? TCL. Okay. So the under the TCL, first command is commit statement. Okay, so what's the first command? Commit command. So what's the command? What's the use of commit command means? So if you need to make changes in the table permanently. Okay, so you are going to store lot of details in the table. So in the database, how you will store the details? In the form of tables, isn't it? So if you are going to, you are do, if you are going to do some modifications or if you are going to make some changes in the table permanently. Okay, permanently you are done or you are making some changes. Okay, so if you need to make some changes permanently means you should use which command? Commit command. Understand? So what's the use of commit command? If you need, commit command is mainly used to make the changes permanently. Understand? So already we have studied about lot of DML commands. Isn't it? What are the commands? Insert, update and delete. Okay, so what's the use of insert? Insert new data into the table. What's the use of update? So update some details in the table. Delete means delete some rows or columns from the table. Isn't it? So, but that command, that and all you are doing, that is not permanent. So insert, you are inserting some details, updating some detail, delete some details. Okay. But that and all not permanent. Okay. So if all this command, inserting, updating, delete. All these comments you are giving, all these comments you are giving by means of queries, isn't it? So after the query, if you give commit statement means only, the changes will done permanently. Understand? What's the use of commit command? So if you are doing any changes, either if you can insert any data or update any data or delete any data or modify any data. So all the things if you are doing, so after all the comments, you should give commit command. Then only the changes will make permanently. Okay. Okay. So once you have given the commit command means. 
so the changes cannot be rolled back understand once if you have given the commit command means the changes you can't be able to get back understand so once you have give the commit command for example you are inserting some details okay so you have inserted uh, okay you have inserted so and also you are giving commit command at the last so after giving commit command means you can't be able to make changes in say insert command or if you are updating some details or if you are deleted some rows after delete you are giving in commit command means you won't get the details back understand what's the use of commit command yes so next one is roll back command okay so what's the second command roll back so roll back is nothing bad so this command is used to restores the database to the last committed state <clears throat> understand what's the meaning of this one means like undo so in a word you have studied undo and redo isn't it so what's the use of redo redo means one step forward then uh, undo means one step backward isn't it same thing roll back means one step backward it will go that means at the last commit at last what are the things or what are the details you have stored so it will move to the <coughs> last committed state okay so if you are using this rollback command means you should need another one command called save point so what is the save point means the particular location you can make changes or particular location you can roll back the command understand the rollback command is used along with which one save point command important one more question <coughs> so what's the use of rollback so rollback command is mainly used to restores the database to last committed state understand so it is always used along with which command which command save point understand so this is a syntax for rollback okay so see rollback to save point name understand next they have given example if you are seeing the example means you will get understand okay so what's the syntax roll back to save point in so already you have studied roll back command is used along with save point okay so what's the syntax roll back to save point name okay yes then next command is save point command okay so what's the next command save point command okay so what's the use of save point command mean so if you need to make some changes temporarily okay so commit command means if you need to make the changes permanently permanently means so some changes you should make permanent permanently you are for example you are entering your class details okay so if you need to say change the name of the particular student so that is a permanent okay unfortunately you are typing some uh, spelling mistakes in the name but you should ma make the name correct and that changes needs to make permanent so at that time you should give which command commit command but save point command means temporarily so temporarily you, if you need to save make some changes means you should use which command save point command okay so save point if you give save point command means whenever you need so you can roll back to the last committed state so what's the use of roll back so it will go to the one step backward that means last at last what command or what details is stored in the table it will automatically move to the last committed state so the save point is always used along with which command roll back okay so roll back if you need to move to the last state means save point is used to be save uh, roll back command okay so if you need to make some changes only temporarily means you can use only save point understand so three commands you have studied what are they commit save point and roll back <clears throat> so what's the use of commit command so commit command is mainly used to so if you are making some changes permanently means you should use which command commit command understand roll back means so one step backward it will move that means it will restore the last committed state understand so commit command is uh, sorry roll back command is always works along with save point understood then save point command okay so save point command is mainly used to if you need to make the changes temporarily understand if you need to make the changes temporarily means you should use which command save point command understand so save point once you can give the save save point command means if you need to go to the last state or last committed state you can go along with roll back understand yes 
So see here they are giving some examples. Listen carefully. So this is one table. One table they have entered. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Five details they have entered. Okay. So see this table. Next, listen carefully. Now insert into student. So next they are going to insert one new student detail. Okay. Next they are going to insert one new student detail. Okay. So what's the detail? Hundred and seven B na F twenty question. Listen carefully. Next they are giving commit. So what's the meaning of this one? So if you are inserting this details, this details will get store permanently. Okay, this detail will store permanently. Understand? You can't be able to change this row detail. Why? So you are giving commit statement. So you see the next table. See at the last row you have inserted new value. Hundred and seven B na F twenty question. So this detail will be permanently stored in this table. You can't be able to make changes in the in this row. Understand? Understand about commit statement? Yes. Next, see. Update. Set. Listen. Update student set name equal to mini. You are going to updating. Are you doing some modifications? Listen. Update student set name equal to mini. So you are giving or changing the name to mini. So where you are changing? Where admission number equal to hundred and five? See. So in the place of admission number five, already what detail you have stored? Hundred and five name is Revadi is there. Name Revadi is there. But now you are going to change the name of Revadi to Mini. Understand that's the use of update command. What's the use of update command? You make some changes. You are going to make changes. So update student. So update. You are updating the student table. Set name equal to Mini. So you are going to Set the name mini. Understand? You are going to set the name as mini. So in which place where need to set the name mini? Admission number equal to hundred and five. So where the admission number equal to hundred and five? This first row. First row already the name is Revadi. Okay. See next you are giving save point A. Okay. What's the meaning of save point? So temporarily you can make the changes. Understand? Temporarily you are making this thing. So see. See this row. First row already name Revadi is there, but after giving this update command, the name Revadi is changed to Mini. Understand? The name Revadi is changed to Mini. Understand what's the use of save point? So temporarily this data will be there, but it is not permanent. But the data first you have inserted no this data hundred and seven Bina. After that you have given commit statement. So this data won't get changed, but this is temporarily this data. If you need means you can able to change. Understand? Yes. See the next table. Next, listen. Insert into student values hundred and six. So next you are going to insert another one detail. Okay. So please change. This is not hundred and six. Okay. Hundred and eight. So in your book also please correct it. This is not hundred and six. Hundred and eight. Okay. Page number two hundred and twenty eight. So they are giving inserts into student values hundred and this is not hundred and six. Hundred and eight. Please change it. Okay, hundred and eight. Okay, so so how will change? So this is not hundred and six, hundred and eight. Okay, so insert into student values hundred and six. Disha F nineteen Delhi save point B. So what's the meaning of save point? So temporarily you can make changes. So see the last row. So see the last row. You have inserted one more detail. What's the detail? So I said no. This you need to change this hundred and eight. Hundred and eight. Jisha F nineteen Delhi. See the last row. Save point means there two save points they have given. Roll save point A and save point B. The save point A means first what you done update. Save point B temporarily you have inserted on detail. Listen. See the next thing. Roll back to A. Okay. So roll back to A. So what's the meaning of roll back? One step backward. That means at last, what state you you have done? That state it will move. So now you have done that. What what operations you are doing now? So now you have inserted one value. After this, you are giving roll back to A. So one step backward. See, see this table whether this last row is there? No. That means previous state. Previous what you have done? So roll back to A. That means previous table. It will move to the previous state. 
understand whether now you are inserting the details you are inserting a new row after you are giving roll back means it will move to the last state understand about roll back and commit understand yes okay so up to this chapter over up to this chapter 12 over so uh, please listen carefully each and every chapter you have seen like this points to remember okay this is very very important please read at least once so you'll get one more questions from this points to remember understand okay so now all of you take pencil in your hand yes now all of you take pencil in your hand so take page number 230 now we can mark the question answers okay take page number 230 230 okay first question answer is a option a d d l first question answer is option a d d l okay first question answer is option a d d l second question answer is option d alter second question answer is option d alter third question answer is option a drop third question answer is option a drop then fourth question answer is option a select fourth question answer is option a select then fifth question answer is option b order by fifth question answer is option b order by okay so once more i am dictating answer for one more question first question answer is option a ddl second question answer is option d alter third question answer is option a drop fourth question answer is option a select fifth question answer is option b order by okay have you all marked okay next you can write the page number for all the questions okay so first question part two first question page number 224 first question 224 then second question page number 212 second question page number 212 then third question page number 211 third question page number 211 fourth question page number 215 comma 211 Fourth question, page number two hundred and fifteen, comma two hundred and eleven. Okay, fifth question, you need to write. Okay, fifth question, you need to write. So once more, I am dictating the answer, uh, page numbers. First question, page number two hundred and twenty-four. Second question, page number two hundred and twelve. Third question, page number two hundred and eleven. Fourth question, page number two hundred and eleven, comma two hundred and fifteen. Fifth question, you need to write. Okay. Then three more question. Write the page numbers. First question, page number two hundred and eleven, comma two hundred and thirteen. First question, page number two hundred and eleven, comma two hundred and thirteen. Second question, page number two hundred and eighteen. Second question, page number two hundred and eighteen, two one eight. Third question, page number two hundred and eleven, comma two hundred and seventeen, comma two hundred and eighteen. Third question, page number two hundred and eleven, comma two hundred and seventeen, comma two hundred and eighteen. Fourth question, page number two hundred and twenty-seven. Fourth question, page number two hundred and twenty-seven. Fifth question, page number two hundred and twenty. Fifth question, page number two hundred and twenty. Okay, once more. First question, page number two hundred and eleven, comma two hundred and thirteen. Second question, page number two hundred and eighteen. Third question, page number two hundred and eleven, comma two hundred and seventeen, comma two hundred and eighteen. Fourth question, page number two hundred and twenty-seven. 
फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी ओके हैव यल रिटर्न ओके देन फोर डिटेल क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व डिटेल क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व देन सेकेंड क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू राइट द आंसर ओके देन थर्ड क्वेश्चन सी थर्ड क्वेश्चन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवन टू टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइन थर्ड क्वेश्चन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवन टू टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइन देन फोर्थ क्वेश्चन फोर्थ क्वेश्चन राइट फर्स्ट पार्ट पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव फर्स्ट पार्ट पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड क्वेश्चन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके सो वन मोर आई एम डिक्टेटिंग देन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू राइट ओके वन मोर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ओके फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन देन थर्ड क्वेश्चन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवन टू टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइन दिस आल्सो वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन देन फोर्थ क्वेश्चन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव फर्स्ट पार्ट सेकेंड पार्ट पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू राइट ओके ओके सो नाउ वी कैन मॉक द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स so first two more question all of you take page number 224 okay so first two more question take page number 224 so page number 224 first two more question so listen listen carefully 224 So in the question yeah, in your uh, book, they have asked write a query that selects all students whose age is less than eighteen in order wise. Okay, okay. Write a query that selects students whose age is less than in order wise. Okay. So page number two hundred and twenty four. Listen carefully. This query. So here they are giving greater than or equal to, but in the place you should write less than or equal to. Understand? So the same query only. So first question answer. Listen carefully. Page number two hundred and twenty-four. This query selects top from student where age. Here, here in your question they ask less than, but in here they have given greater than. So please change the symbol down. You write less than or equal to. So answer is less than or equal to a order by name. Understand? Understand? Have you all marked? Okay. Have you all marked page number two hundred twenty-four? This query. Okay, select star from student where age less than or equal to eighteen order by name. Okay. So output. Listen carefully. Output. So here the output is not there. So less than or equal to eighteen. So please listen carefully. So please uh, draw the table and mark. What are the detail means? This one less than or equal to eighteen means how many uh, rows will come? This one hundred and two. Sorry, hundred, hundred and two, then hundred and seven. This three details alone. Okay. So this table you should draw. Understand what I am telling? So here for that question answer query is this query. Select top from student where age less than or equal to eighteen order by name. Okay. Then. Answer is the table. This three details alone you should draw. Hundred and two this row. A hundred and two Akshit M seventeen Bangalore. Then hundred Ashish M seventeen Chennai. Then hundred and seven Hema seventeen Chennai. Understand? Understand this three rows alone you should draw. Okay. Have you all marked? Then second question answer page number two hundred and twelve. Second two more question answer page number two hundred and twelve. Please take it page number two hundred and twelve. Page number two hundred and twelve. Okay. Second question answer is unique constraint. Okay, unique constraint. Have you all seen this is unique constraint? Starting from here, this constraint ensure no two rows values. Okay, differentiate unique constraint and primary constraint. Okay, first you mark this one. This constraint is ensures from here to Till till next page up to this not null. Okay, 
substitute this not null understand starting from here unique constraint this constraint ensures no two row values page number 212 okay starting from here to till next page not null okay not null then same question same question primary key constraint from here this constraint declares from here to till not null till not null so any two two points you write okay example no need to write so unique constraint also here you write two points then here primary constraint also two points understand primary constraint also from here to till this not null constraint understand primary constraint page number 213 starting from here primary constraint from here to not null constraint then unique constraint page number 212 starting from here to till next page not null example no need to write understand then <clears throat> next question write the difference between table constraint and column constraint page number 211 table constraint and column constraint page number 211 here this two okay so here only one point they are giving okay so they have given only one point so one more point you should write so i am dictating please write it okay so down column constraint first point is this one column constraint apply only to individual column so one more point you need to write okay so here you write column constraint is write it column constraint column constraint is normally column constraint is normally column constraint is normally given at the given at the norm normally given at given g i v e n given at the end of the column definition end of the column definition okay so once more column constraint is column constraint is normally given at the end of the column definition <clears throat> understand so column constraint is normally given at the given at the end of the column definition end of the column definition okay two points then table constraint also one more point you write here end of the column definition but table constraint is normally given at the end of the table definition understand table constraint is normally given at the given at the end of the table definition there end of the column definition column constraint end of the column definition here end of the table definition table constraint is normally given at the end of the table definition understand normally given at the end of the table definition here end of the column definition so two two points you should write understand have you all written have you all written or not okay then then fourth question fourth question take page number 211 fourth question also same page take page number same page only 211 so what's the fourth question which components of sql let insert values into a table and which lets to create a table okay so two pages first page is 211 mark it create table so starting from here you can create a table by using create a till column okay so you can create a table by using the create table command till here syntax if it possible means right study and write otherwise no need okay page number 211 starting from here you can create table using till one column okay then same question have you all marked this is the first part then same question take page number 215 insert command <coughs> take page number 215 215 same question page number 215 so insert command have you all seen under the heading insert 
so starting from the insert command helps to add new data from here to till this index okay values okay understand first part 211 create table you have marked then next the insert command helps to add new data from here to till this values understand have you all marked okay then fifth question take page number 206 okay fifth question take page number 206 so in that uh, fifth question near you write page number 206 already you have not written i think it's so i asked you to write in a notes no need to write in a notes here answer is there okay so write page number 206 fifth question answer so all of you take page number 206 okay have you all taken 206 206 okay so 206 have you seen inside this orange color box do you know here sql structured query language used for accessing database so to here my sql is or dbms from here to here okay fifth question answer is page number 206 206 inside that do you know do you know that part fully sql structured query language from here to till or dbms understood okay two more question over then three more question first question first three more question take page number 211 first three more question take page number 211 okay so page number 211 so constraints what do you mean by constraint have you all seen constraint here constraints are used to limit till table level okay so till table level first three more question this is first part and also they asked write a note on primary key constraint first you should write here constraints are from here to till from here to till table level understand three more question first have you all marked constraints are from here to till table level then take page number 213 213 213 have you all take have you all taken then here primary key constraint starting from here to primary key constraint 213 starting from here to till this example understand primary key constraint starting from here to till this example understand Primary key constraint starting from here to till this example. Okay. Have you all marked? So first you should write constraint. What do you mean by constraint? That you have marked in 211. Then primary key constraint starting from here to till this example. Okay. Then next question. Write a SQL statement to modify student table structure by adding a new field. Take page number 218. 218. 218 218 all of you take it 218 have you all take have you all taken 218 page number yes so on here starting from here to modify existing column of table understand to modify existing column of table from here to till characters till characters okay starting from here to modify 200 page number 218 218 218 starting from to modify existing column of table from here to till so till characters here till characters okay have you all marked then so next three more question write any three ddl commands okay write any three ddl command okay so for you have mark the same page you mark three command you should write okay so first you one command you mark this one truncate command okay this is one command three commands you should write this is one of the command this is the third three more question truncate this is the third three more question starting from here truncate to so till this one SQL statement uh, sorry not uh, till here till this space is freed okay starting from here truncate command is used to delete from here to till space is freed 
So now question they answer three commands. So, so this is first command, okay? Then remaining two commands, you mark. So take page number 270. Take page number 217. So alter command. This is one command, okay? Alter command. Starting from here to till this syntax size. Okay? So one command, truncate command. Then another one command, alter command. Starting from here, alter command is from here to here. Okay? Then, then among lot of DDL command is there. Any one command you write, okay? Based on your wish, you can study. Then delete command. Page number 216. Page number 216, delete command. From here to till this delete. So till delete, okay? Not till, uh, so for, sorry for uh, here, up to example also you should write. Delete command, delete command from here to till Chennai. Sorry, sorry. Please don't mark this. Is, this will come under DML. Don't mark this delete command. Okay. So truncate and alter command. Sorry. So DDL command uh, is pain page number 211. Sorry. Don't mark this delete command. Okay. Truncate and alter command you should mark. But uh, another one command is page number 211. 211. 211. Page number 211. Okay. Okay, page number 211. So this one. Create table command. Starting from here to till this uh, syntax. Okay. So three commands. What are the commands? First one is create table command. Page number 211. Starting from create table command. From here to till this syntax. So what are the commands? Create table command. Then alter command. Then truncate. Okay. Three commands. Okay. Have you marked? Then. Fifth question, page number 220. Fifth question. Fifth question, page number 220. All of you take fifth two more question. Fifth two more question, page number 220. Distinct keyword. Very, very important question. Distinct keyword, page number 220. Distinct keyword. Starting from here, under the heading is distinct keyword. Starting from here to... Till this values acquire. Till values acquire. Okay. So have you all marked page number 220 starting from here. Distinct keyword from here to till values acquire. This is fifth two mark question. Five. Fifth. Sorry not two mark question. Three mark question. Fifth three mark question. Then fourth three mark question. Take page number 227. Fourth three mark question. Take page number 227. Fourth three more question. Take page number two hundred and twenty-seven. Okay, question is write a SQL state. Uh, sorry, write a uh, use of some save point command with example. Okay, page number two hundred and twenty-seven. So, so twenty-seven the save point. Okay, save point. Starting from here to till save point name. Starting from here, page number 227, starting from here, this under the heading save point command, from here to till save point name. Okay, then example the same page last. Update student set name equal to, from here to till this one, question. Okay, till this question. Understand, so two mark and three mark over. Then detail question, first question take page number 212. So, if you take page number 212, types of constraints. Page number 212. Very, very important question, okay? So, types of constraints starting from here. Detail question starting from here. Types of constraints from here to till, till the page number 214. So till page number 200 and uh, not 214, 215 before the heading DML command. Before the heading DML command 215. Okay. Starting from page number 212. Starting from here. Page number 212. Constraint. Starting from here. 212. 
from here to 212 from here to till page number 215 215 till 215 before the dml command okay before dml command this is the first five mark question then third five mark question page number 207 okay page number 207 So third five mark question all of you take page number 207. Okay. Components of SQL. Okay. Components of SQL starting from your third five mark question. Components of SQL starting from here to till page number 209. Till page number 209. 209 before the heading data types. Till here, okay. Before the heading, data types. Page number 207, components of SQL, starting from page number 207. Okay, page number 207, starting from here to till page number 209. Before the heading, data types, okay. Okay, these are two important five mark questions. Then remaining three questions are there. Okay, fourth question also you can mark. Fourth question. Take page number 223. So take page number 223. Okay. Fourth five mark question. Page number 223. Page number 223. Okay. 223. Order by class. Order by class. This one. From here to till next page. This is the fourth detail question. Second part. Okay. Till Chennai. Till Chennai. Okay. This is the fourth detail question. Second part. Page number 223. From starting from here. Order by class. Starting from here to till next page. Till this Chennai. Okay. Okay. This is the second part. Fourth detail question. Second part. First part in page number 225. First part is to page number 225. Page number 225, group by class. Starting from here, group by class. Okay, group by class. Page number 225, page number 225, fourth question, first part. Group by class, from here to till next page, this example. Uh, till female students, till female students, okay. Page number 225, group by class from there to till this female students. Before that, having class, okay. Sir, only two more detailed questions that you should write. Okay, if you are guide means, please study. Otherwise, sir, before next chapter, I will mark question answer. No, at that time, we can write it, okay. So, okay, chapter 12 completed. So, your exam portion is chapter 1 to 12. Please study thorough all the questions. Please don't leave any questions. Write the example. All the best students. Thank you. Thank you.